super close to the camera. Okay, this is this is something else. Hey guys, today I'm doing a New Year's Eve makeup tutorial, and I never film makeup tutorials that's close to my face. I'm usually more like back a lot, but new lens, so trying something different. And this is gonna be a talk through, kind of like chit chatty New Year's Eve makeup tutorial because I love doing those, but I like never do them because they take a long time. I'm not gonna be that bold, but I wanna, you know, do something, use some new makeup, and let's just see what happens. So I'm gonna get Q-tips, and I'll be right back. So yeah. Okay, so I'm closer now. I apologize because so, it's like just my face. So. My room is really messy, but how are you guys? I'm doing great. Okay, I look 10, so let's get started. I'm going to take the oil-free moisturizer from Neutrogena, and I'm looking in the viewfinder because I don't have a mirror, so please bear with me because I know like, it's annoying, but I'm going to apply this with this brush, and I cleaned this brush recently. I recently cleaned my brush right before Christmas. And um, it was Christmas Eve because I cleaned them that day and it was like a couple hours later and I went to go do my makeup and all my brushes were so wet so I was like, okay, well I don't have brushes to do my makeup with on Christmas Eve, like send help. But so I just had to like, it just sucked. But I really like this lens though. And my rats, I got um, new stuff for them today. And it's really cute. Also last year, I filmed this video as well. And like, I didn't upload it, but that's when I first got Final Cut Pro, and I was like trying to edit cool, and it didn't work out, but. Okay, so usually I would use my Smashbox primer, but since I'm really dry, I'm gonna use uh, Makeup Forever Step 1. It's like the hydrating primer. Oh, this is really good. This is kind of like a first impressions too on some of the products, and if you don't like these kind of videos, because I know people get like annoying, like, stop talking, we just wanna like see your makeup. If you get annoyed with that, and you can leave. Okay, so yesterday I tried out this foundation and it was the Makeup Forever Ultra HD. I used this Rose Technique like, sponge, right? But I also used it to blend out my contour, so it's a little dark, so I'm gonna use this one, which this is like a deformed sponge. I mean, I could just use my beauty blender because it works better, so I should just do that. Be right back. Oh, again. Okay, so I'm back, and look, this looks so perfect. Oh my gosh. Okay, so I'm gonna use this foundation, and it looked, looked kind of gross on my skin yesterday. So I'm going to try it again. So if it looks kind of like ew or dry or patchy, um, please forgive me. I'm just human. I'm trying my best. So my skin. People say this is like bad for people with oily skin. I mean, I don't have oily skin, obviously. I'm just talking about how dry it is. People say if you have oily skin, this foundation wouldn't work for you. But I disagree because I don't have that dry of skin, you know? But... I said my skin's been really dry, but like I don't have like dry dry skin like it's normally like normal to combo and this clung to all my dry patches So I feel like if you oily skin It would work for you. It just depends on your skin type really and like what primer You can stuff but this foundation. It's really good. It's really light. I'm so glad um My mom picked this out and like I told her the shade and I'm really happy Because all foundations um, Like I'm not cutting everyone because I never put my undertone but this one does, and it makes me really happy. Okay, so, I'm back, and I don't So if you're like, and like coverage, ew. And you can build up a little bit, but it's not like that buildable. And also this concealer is a little darker than my foundation because I don't really like highlighting my under eyes and all that, just like to cover it up. My nose, because I have a really red nose. I don't know why. My nose has just been red, like, forever. It still clung dry patches on my forehead, so, like, I don't know why I'm so dry. Like, the weather is changing so much. As you guys know, it's been, like, 70 in December sometimes. Looks, like, good enough. Like, my nose could still be concealed a little bit more, but it doesn't really matter that much. But now I'm going to take some setting spray. And <laughs> it looks dark right there. Um, I don't know why, but I'm just going to roll with it. So I'm going to take setting spray and put that all over my face. Just like that. Okay, so now I'm going to set my face with the Bye Bye Pores Pressed Powder. And by the way, 
This foundation's supposed to look... Oh my gosh! No, I'm not going to do that. I almost forgot. I'm going to contour with cream. I, how did I forget that? I don't even know. I'm going to use the Tarte Sculptor, though. With my cream contour, I don't bring it all the way down. I just do a little bit like that. Because that's why I really like the sculpt. I, I only like to go a little, like, halfway. I don't really like it on my chin right here. Or my nose. I know. I just like to contour the cheekbones, that's all. And up here, around my forehead. Because I have a big forehead. I'm going to use this. My other Real Technique sponge. But, yeah, I never used this before. But I, could, I swatched out my hand and blended it out. And it looked... Really good. It looked like the exact. Oh yeah, this is so much more blendable than the Hula or Hula. What the heck? No, the Anastasia Cream Contour Kit. Oh yes, this is actually. Oh, do you see? Oh. But yeah, I'm just gonna blend the rest. But now I'm gonna set the face. That looks like it could be a more blended. I don't really care. But I'm gonna use powder again. Oh, this is. And I'm gonna set my under eye powder. Or what? No, I'm gonna set my under eye concealer. My eyelids, because I put concealer there because my eyelids are naturally really dark and disgusting. I'm taking another brush. This bun. Bun. Okay, I can't talk today. This, I just like tap it over it. Like, I just tap it. And it just sets it like that. Just, because I don't want to like completely take away it, even though this is translucent powder. I just want to, no, like that. I'm going to take something I've never used before. And it's the Makeup Forever Pro Sculpting Duo. I'm going to take the bronzer in that. And I don't know how this will look. Swirl it. Tap some off. We'll see how this works. I pray. It doesn't look horrible. I know I just contoured. You're probably going to be like, well, why are you bronzing up? But, okay. The sculptor stick is in, like, a warm colored contour stick. Like, it's not, like, a cool tone. So, like, if I apply this bronzer, it won't, like, look bad because it's, like, the same color. I'm going to use the highlighter in this because I've never used it before. I'm going to highlight. I've never used this highlighter, but Tori Sterling, a.k.a. my fave was like yo you like need this if you don't have it so i was like okay i'm putting it right there i'm gonna do the nose tip of my nose to make it like slimmer or whatever people say and i also do the bridge though i like to do it right here yeah it's kind of weird but i don't like this on my forehead just like this side of my contour for my eyebrows i use a pencil i used to use a gel but i ran out i'm gonna use a pencil Anastasia, lots of people hate my eyebrows. I mean, I even hate my eyebrows. Let's be real here. I'm not a fan of my brows, but um, oh my gosh, I almost dropped it. I like to brush them up, like up right there, and like that. I'll do a little more on the tail because it's a little need some help and. I'm a big fan of messy brows. Like, you guys know Gigi Hadid. I love her eyebrows because they're just, like, messy. I like to brush the um, ends forward. Because I'm a big fan of messy brows. I'm going to use a NARS Duo. It's this one. And I just think that's really bronzy and looks super summery. And I want it to be summer, so that's why I'm using it. But also, it just, you know, New Year's Eve is gold, so I'm going to do a gold look. I'm going to take the gold color in it, which you can use any gold, like, any eyeshadow palette has gold in it. Like, gold's just, like, a gold color, you know? If there's fallout, I'm praying there's not, because my face is already, I already beat my face, like, it's already done. The brush I'm using is a, um, it's a concealer brush. I don't know why I'm using concealer brush for my eyeshadow. A lot of people that I know watch my videos, like people that I'm not even like that close with. So I'm just like, hey. Back to this dark color, the second one. Tap off the excess and I'm gonna blend it into the crease. Also, my eyes like always end up looking different. Like why is that that shape and that's like perfect? Uh, guys, you don't understand my struggle. Okay, so I got them similar, which is what I'm going for. And this looks really weird without eyeliner. So now we're going to go straight on to eyeliner. And I'm going to use the Kat Von D eyeliner. Oh my gosh, I swear if that broke, I'm going to cry. I'm not going to do a wing because... Like, do a wing if you want to do a wing. I'd recommend a wing. It's just on camera. That's not happening. It's okay, it's good enough for me. So I'm going to do the other eye. The eyeliner looks decent. We're gonna take, wait till that dries, 
But while it's drying, we're going to take the eyeshadow again, the, only the gold one, just the gold one. And you're going to take a pencil brush. I'm just going to use this one. I'm going to take the gold color, tap off some excess. Apply it like just to the center right here. That's what we're applying it. Not really New Year's Eve, but like I'm going to add some gold glitter to the look to make it more New Year's Eve. We're going to take some gold glitter and apply that on the black liner. Look at that. Like, see, that just looks really nice and festive. And it, I think it brings the look together. I'll take some more glitter. And we're going to apply it. Only where we applied the eyeshadow on the bottom. The curly eyelashes make them look super good. Even if the glitter's not dry, I'm going to curl it. Curl your lashes. The mascara I'm using is the Super Sizer. This is a really clumpy mascara. Like, super clumpy. And, like, so if you don't like that, don't hate on me. Apply a little bit to the bottom only a tiny bit okay so right off I want to say these eyelashes are longer but that's only because I applied a lot to this and it looks really bad so for my lips I don't know what to go with so I'm just gonna go with a nude color I think it's pretty lip color now I'm gonna take the headband off I think we're done let's do an apply setting spray then you do that but I'm not this is the completed look I really like it, actually. So, thank you guys so much for watching this video. And don't forget to thumbs it up if you enjoyed it. I never have my liking, like, likes on, so it's on now if you want to like the video. But I will talk to you guys later in my next video, which will be next year. I'll see you guys next year. Peace out.